Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Uh, as you'll be able to see there, the US 30 bounced off potential support at 16401 after a particularly savage last couple of sessions. And uh, you know, global slowdown fear is very much being uh, in focus right now. And many, many um, equity markets taking a bit of a dive. And we do we have seen some very interesting moves on major FX pairs as well. But we are jumping around potential support at 16401. Next potential support should that should that not hold would be uh, 16178. But this would be a hammer formation uh, if this currently holds just now. Technicals are still slightly um, over, well not quite over oversold yet, but moving into that oversold territory, uh, but there's still room for maneuver. So further weakness still possible. And uh, we do have a slight absence of economic data. We do have some Chinese data that came out slightly better than, than expectations, uh, but people are still worried about global slowdown fears. You've got ISIS, you've got Ebola, you've got Eurozone crisis, PMI coming out weak, and Germany um, having the slowest uh, industrial production for years. Looking at the UK 100, it's also had a decent bounce this morning as well, having smashed through 68.9, sorry, 63.90. Next potential support is 62.16. We've had a bounce this morning, but it does feel a little bit like a, a short-lived um, move. But we have had such a savage um, move to the downside. But what where's the good news going to drive this up that little bit higher? So I think 63.90 might be potential resistance if we do end up getting a little bit closer. Um, so just bear bear that in mind that we do need some decent fundamentals to back that up and. We'll come back to the market calendar in a second. So looking at Japan 225, it also had a really horrendous last couple of sessions, bouncing off potential support this morning, 49.77. It did dip slightly below that first thing this morning as dollar yen, you know, people buying gold, people buying yen has, uh, has been um, switching that FX pair around and that's been putting a bit of a damper in Japan 225. Albeit most of the global equity markets has had a little bit of a bounce this morning. Um, we are on the right side of potential support and it's not looking as ugly as some of the other charts out there. So moving on to dollar yen. Okay, so I actually need to get my drawing tool feature out right here. Uh, so that was, uh, let's just draw that on there a little bit better. Uh, we were looking at potential support around about 107 spot 36. We dipped below that slightly this morning. We're on the right side of it right now, but we're below the 21 period SMA. And we are going to be, if we do dip below that again, the next level is all the way down at 105 spot 44, which would also be close to that 55 period SMA. So watch for weakness in the close below 107 spot 36 uh, for the next directional move if that happens. Crude oil, West Texas, um, again, feeling the pain. Um, I tried to reverse higher yesterday, uh, hitting potential uh, resistance at 85 spot 65. Uh, where is that next potential level now? Let's go into our weekly chart so we can get a chance to see that. Okay. So crude oil West Texas looking a little bit oh dear okay that okay that's bounced off that 80, 84 level pretty much bang on you are pretty much now going to a horrible seventy seven dollars forty cents as the next potential support level um, and that is going to be pretty savage but. Um, Ultimately, that's where the next potential support level is, and the fundamentals aren't exactly looking that tasty uh, to help West Texas in the short term. So, we are in the middle of two ranges right now. So, so 84 to 85 spot 65, a break and close below that opens up next potential support all the way down at $77.40. So, looking at gold. Um, Gold is benefiting, obviously, from all the fear, the reversal in the dollar, but I'm still not massively convinced on this bad boy. But look at the long-legged candles, uh, lots of doubt. Moving higher again, but lots of doubt. So it's still making fresher highs, but it's just getting pushed down so aggressively each time it tries to uh, to break new ground. So 12.18, probably going to be the level to keep an eye on. If gold is going to build a consolidated base for a springboard up higher, that's also going to be running about the 21-period SMA. That's what many traders are going to be looking at. And these, these candles, are they're pretty ugly. Um, and you can see when it's happened before, it's ended up pushing gold that little bit lower. As long as there's fear in the market, you know, gold's going to get a little bit of a tip up. If we do see a recovery in the global equity markets and, and obviously the US dollar, gold's going to quite quickly reverse course again. So moving on to euro dollar, euro dollar, not looking so hot either. Still in a massive downtrend. It's trying to benefit from that weaker USD today. Obviously, the Eurozone is not in a very good state. The American economy is still doing so much better. Um, so fundamentally, the Euro still feels weaker versus the US dollar. Uh, one spot, 2661, will be the level to watch right there. So finishing up with GBP USD, uh, bounced off potential support, one spot, 6009 there yesterday. There still seems to be a little bit of inherent weakness in the USD. As I said again, the uh, the Greenback is the better performing currency due to the fundamentals rather than GBP. 
uh, especially when we've got such a close connection to Eurozone and it's pretty much in the toilet right now. Um, so keep an eye on one spot 6009. That is your potential support. Technicals are kind of neutral right now. Economic data wise, there's nothing else exciting today. Let's fast forward on tomorrow. Loads of UK, we've got CPI, we've got PMI. We've got industrial production, we've got ZEW business report. All this stuff is going to be pretty important. So actually, I'm going to make sure I set my reoccurring alerts right here. Um, there is so much stuff coming out. So we just want to make sure that we're all, all aware of what all these um, announcements are. And if we go on to Wednesday as well, you've got more Chinese PMI and CPI. You've got uh, UK jobless claims and then retail sales and uh, PPI from the US. So actually, a fair amount of economic data coming out on um, Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit like today. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of the layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.